Luciano. You're loving that light, aren't you? He loves it. I'm Michael Barbaro, and I live in New York City. I'm the proud single dad of this little guy, Luciano, and his brother, Giovanni, who's sort of sleeping. And I am an ordained minister in the UCC, I'm director of community service at a private school, and Spanish teacher, so. <laughs> and this is reality. <laughs> you want to wake up and do a little burn? He's out. <laughs> you wake up. I started to explore surrogacy after um, I was really encouraged by family, especially my mom, to you know to really follow the dream. That it was something that I was um, kind of like the ministry. I feel like we were, you're called to ministry, you're, you're called to teaching, and I really felt that I was called to to be a dad. Okay, that's one. On to number two. It's your turn. It's your turn. Domestic surrogacy was a better fit for me. So, signed with an agency on June 1st and of last year, and here we are. <laughs> with twins. You asked me about my village and what my village looks like, and, and I was just saying that it's everything from from likes on Facebook, which end up meaning way more than one could imagine when it's three o'clock in the morning and you're exhausted, but you're still up and, and you know you look at the picture that you posted of your kids and people respond by comments and sending love and, and likes. It really means a lot. It gets you through like these long nights to know that there's all these people out there. And so something as small as that to, you know, my, um, my best friend uh, since third grade is the godmother and she came out to Texas and gave up a week of her life and her family to help me you know when we were in Texas my my mom has moved in with me into glorious 530 square foot apartment in Manhattan and, and she is um, helping me every single day parents at school friends people who have come forward on Facebook um, I've been overwhelmed by the amount of support that I've gotten and, and, and you know every single bit of it makes a difference. So a day in the life of a single gay dad is uh, every day is different. So I, I think that's the number one thing that you have to know is you think you're gonna have a routine and then they bust that routine open in five seconds. But you know, right now I'm working full time. I'm getting ready to go on paternity leave, which I'm so excited about. Um, but you know, Hopefully they sleep through the night. I try to put them down now. We're in a we're in a schedule where you know they kind of go down at nine o'clock and then they're up at five thirty six six thirty somewhere in there. So um, do the morning feeding and then you know I try to get ready. Which that's the other thing you have to give up is your own personal hygiene and <laughs> caring about what you look like. Because if I show up for work and I'm just dressed and I'm there, I feel like I've won the day. So <laughs> that's all that I need. Uh, but you know it's um, then my mom has them during the day and I do have somebody who comes in to help her for uh, several hours during the day and then after work uh, it's coming home and, and um, spending time with them. You asked me what the most surprising thing is and, and I would say two things. One is just how surreal the whole experience is. Um, there's moments where you know you, you kind of forget that you're a dad and then the pharmacy calls and they'll say we have something for Giovanni who's that and I'm like that's my son <laughs> or Luciano that's my other son. So I think there's moments where it's it's you know, it's so hard to comprehend that the dream has finally happened and that I'm sitting here holding my two sons. It's pretty amazing. And I think the, the, the funny part of what's surprising is how excited you get over um, burping and farting and, and gas and that they're actually doing all those things and that they can hold their binkies and, you know, that they're starting to track and, and you know, all of the little things, your, your whole paradigm of what's what, what's important and what's a priority to you in your life uh, really shifts very dramatically, very fast. So what I was thinking about last year at this time, worried about is, is not what I'm worried about anymore. So now it's just all about them, spaghetti and meatball, and making them happy. <laughs>